Y'all excuse the way that I look right now. But we are doing some last minute things before we go to Disney. We're going to make a Dollar Tree snack mix for the car and for the hotel room. I'm also going to make some um, make-ahead things for Baron, my husband, to put in the fridge. I'm going to show you guys all the things I make ahead tomorrow to put in the fridge for him to have food for a week-ish. So come along. You're going to get an extra video this week. Also, look at my Disney nails. Oh, aren't they cute? Look at they cute. They're so cute. I'll show you for you to do. Okay, we got a ton, a ton of stuff. Um, first thing we're going to put in this bowl is some Cheez-Its. We got two dollar bags of Cheez-Its. Dollar twenty-five. That's right. The Dollar Tree is now the twenty-five store. So, everything's dollar twenty-five. We spent about twenty-four-ish dollars. Mm-hmm. Going in with some ranch bugles. Yum. Try them. Want one? Sure. <laughs> So the great thing about this snack mix, 100%, you can put whatever in this mix. Whatever chips or snackage or whatever you want. Canteen chips? I've never had these, so I want to try those. I'm stealing one. How are these ones? They're good. Two bags of plantain. Can you show them the bag? Plantain. And then I think we said we're going to do a Chex Mix, like Worcestershire seasoning on this. Mm -hmm. We got a bag, just one bag, I think. No, we got two. Okay, two bags of the peas. You know them, the, um, yeah, but in the lightly salted. You don't want to get anything, like, too spicy or too flavored because you're going to put a seasoning on it. I'm going to get you some water cookies, Loki. Hold on. We got some pretzels. We just did plain sourdough nuggets. Ooh, I don't think this bowl is going to be big enough. But it'll make it big enough. <clears throat> One more thing. Oh, we also got cheese wisps. But those don't go until the end. So yeah, because you, you don't want them to melt. And then just some cashews. What about this honey roasted... Um, Do you think... That was my question. Should we put those in now or should we wait until the end? Probably until the end because we don't want the savory seasoning to go all right. over it. So that's what we're going to mix up with our butter and wasabi and seasonings. Not wasabi, Worcestershire. Worcestershire, sorry, not wasabi. Um, and then we've got some more things that we're going to add in after it bakes for a little bit, just because they're either cheese-based or sweet, and we don't want them to get that Worcestershire Chex Mix seasoning. So. Okay, so what's going in the Chex Mix seasoning? Um, I am going to do, we're doubling our seasoning, because that's a pretty big bowl. Three quarters of a cup of butter. That's so six tablespoons, so 12 tablespoons would be three quarters of a cup, and I'm just going to go melt that really quick. For seasonings, we're going to go in with some season all. That gave us so much trouble. We're going to do some garlic powder, onion powder, which is behind you still, I think. And I handed you a barbecue. Yep, right here. Music City Barbecue Rub. And then we'll just add Worcestershire and mix it all up. Mm -hmm. Going on, we also forgot to show you the onion yums. It's like a Dollar Tree version of an onion. Funyun, sorry. This is probably not going to mix in this bowl. No, it's not, but you mix it every 15 minutes in the oven, so it shall be okay. How long is this mix going to bake for, Frida? One hour at 250 degrees, and you stir it every 15 minutes. There you go, just like a Chex Mix. Only you can literally add whatever cracker, cookie, chip, whatever you want. We just avoid cheese things because they will melt. We have some wisps, and we have some Ritz bits, but we're going to put those in at the end yeah. because we don't want them to melt while it's baking. So about an hour later, we've got delicious snack mix. Mm. Ooh. It's super good. It all blends together really well. Once it cools, we're going to add in the... All right, last step, we're going to add in our things that we didn't want baked. A.K.A. our Ritz sandwiches, our whisks. Mm. 
I'm going to try to mix it all together. I mean, it's going to be hard because it's in two containers. We'll shake it up in the bags. For sure. These would have caused just a big old greasy mess if we baked those. Adding all the things. These are my favorite right here. Put these down. Now tell me, a gallon size Ziploc of that wouldn't make a road trip so much fun. So yeah, I'll show you what else I prep for the fridge, but this looks super yummy. So this batch made three bags of Chex Mix. We took the one for the trip, one for Baron and Sophia to eat tomorrow, one for Stephanie to take in her lunchbox tomorrow. I don't work tomorrow. I'm off, and then the next day we leave. So there is our wonderful Dollar Tree snack mix. Hey, y'all. Hey. Okay, so we're still doing prep cooking. Let me get into my screen here. I've got some sausage. I've got kale. I've got chicken soup. Um, potatoes. Kale. We're making um, sausage kale soup to go into the fridge for my husband. So come along. First things first, we're going to drop the entirety of this package of sausage. You guys know I sometimes get the three pound sausage or whatever. But we're going to drop this whole sausage into a pot and brown it up. I'm just going to do one pot today. You know I've done multiple pots before. Odin might be behind me. But yeah, so we're going to brown up this sausage. So my ground beef is completely ground and browned in cups. <laughs> I just have four to five diced potatoes. I'm gonna toss them in there and let them get a little browned. You don't want them cooking too much, but they can soak up some of the flavor of that beef, or I'm sorry, that sausage, and cook down. I do have a video going more in detail into this soup but that's kind of just not what I'm doing today I'm just kind of doing a prep cooking video today um, if you look up my Zupa Toscana recipe that's what I'm making I know some of you are new though um, I only did four or five of these potatoes because it is not a potato soup the potatoes are what would you call it the accoutrement the side um, they're just supporting Okay, so they're just supporting that amazing sausage and kale. They're not meant to be the star. And why am I prep cooking so much? I am leaving tomorrow at like 5 a.m. for Disney World. So my husband is not going. I want him to have food prepared that he does not need to cook himself. Now, taking 48 ounces of chicken broth pouring it, not spilling it like I just did, directly into your potato and your sausage. That's your soup base right there. We can add in some fresh garlic, some fresh onion, um, powder. I wouldn't, if you're going to do raw onion, do it at the beginning with your potatoes and your sausage, obviously. But you can add in garlic powder, Italian blend seasoning, onion powder, any of those things at this point. And now we're going to let that boil until um, those potatoes are soft. So yeah, we're just boiling away. Well, it's going to take a little while to boil. You all know that. And then after it boils, we're going to drop in some half and half to color. Um, probably like a half a cup to a cup of half and half, depending on the size pot you're making. You can double this, triple this, quadruple this. I mean, 
you can do whatever you want with it really it's a pretty basic recipe and then um once the half and half has kind of simmered a little bit and heated and blended well with that broth we'll drop in a couple of handfuls of kale turn it on low let it cook and simmer for maybe 10 minutes before it'd be ready to serve I'm not serving this so when I put the kale into it I will probably turn it off and cover it and just let it simmer for a while until it's cooled enough for me to put it into some Ziploc containers or Tupperware, Pyrex, whatever you're putting it into. I'm putting it into like some Ziploc brand bowls. Um, I might serve it for my family tonight as well. It really depends. I think my daughter wanted chicken tonight and I'm prepping chicken salad for my husband to have for lunches this week while I'm gone. So you're going to see me do like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, twelve ish air fryer chicken thighs. And then I'll pull the meat off those once they're cool. And pickle seasoning, mayonnaise, olive. Just do a nice chicken salad. And so my husband will eat that. He doesn't like sweet in his chicken salad. So I know a lot of people will do like cranberries, raisins, grapes. That's not my husband. He doesn't like sweet in his chicken salad. So we'll go with a savory chicken salad. And yeah. Oh, and his broccoli salad. I've shown that on this channel as well. It's one of his favorite things in the world. But I'll show you guys that again too. I'll just make him a big container. Ticaner. Wow. Container of the um, broccoli salad to go with his chicken salad for lunches. And then I've got like some frozen meals that I've prepped. He can throw those in for dinner. He can have soup. He can, there's a variety of things. I made sure he was taken care of while I'm having fun at the mouse house. So that's what I'm doing the days before I leave for Disney. Okay, my potatoes are soft. I'm going to turn my soup down to a simmer. I'm going to take half and half. About, like I said, anywhere between a half a cup and a cup. Of cold half and half. I'm looking for a specific color, like a nice creamy soup color. Once I've achieved that, I'll show it to you. Let me show you the color. That's the color we're going for. It's obviously a cream based soup, but you can still see the sausage and, you know, the flavor in it. So we're going to let that simmer for like five minutes and then I'm going to toss in a couple of handfuls of kale and then I'm going to turn my heat off and um, cover it. At this point you could serve it once your kale is soft, but I'm not serving this. I'm going to turn my heat off, cover it, let it simmer. Once it's cool, I'm going to put it in some containers. Okay, kale. Remember this is going to wilt. It's the same as spinach. So it might look like a lot at first, but remember, it's going to wilt. I'm going to put two healthy handfuls in this particular soup. Here comes Odin. He's going to see if he likes kale. He does not, so he's going to spit it out on the floor. But yeah, once that kale's wilted down, you can definitely serve the soup at that point. Or, like I said, do what I'm doing. Let it cool and put it in a container to prep for later in the week. Great thing about it is because that kale is going to get soft. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, eating right now, today, tomorrow. I'll top it with some Parmesan cheese. Some fresh shredded Parmesan when I go to serve it. So yeah, that is one of the handful of meals I'm going to prep for my husband for dinner for next week. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys. You've probably already seen the snack mix, but I'm also going to show you, like I said, chicken salad, broccoli salad, just really great things that are really easy to prep.
for the week. I really want to get into more, let me back up. I really want to get into more prep cooking, like not just for when I'm going on vacation or when I'm going away from my husband, but like in general, like as a whole for the week. I would love when I do my Sunday night dinner prep like the whole week's food or maybe Monday night prep the whole week's food. Yeah, I would do it Monday because Sunday, that's family time. Like, that's not time I want to spend slaving away in the kitchen. Which, a lot of the meals I make wouldn't require slaving away, but you know what I'm saying. So, Monday nights, I think I'm going to start doing a whole week's meal prep. Pasta bake, um, side dishes. Now, I might not prep ahead meat, like if we're having steak or if we're having pork chops or if we're having pork loin, chicken. Chicken I could probably pre-prep. That would be fine for microwave. But um, like a nice steak, I wouldn't want to pre-prep. But I would make the twice baked potatoes, the broccoli salad or the broccoli casserole. Whatever I'm serving with that steak, I would pre-prep on Monday night. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Let's jump into the next meal. All right, y'all. Time got away from me. I did make broccoli salad and chicken salad, but I did not film. But you saw the snack mix and some soup and some prep stuff that I'm doing. So I love you guys. I'll see you on the flip side of Orlando.